All right, so our next one here is asking us to imagine two charged magnetic dipoles, charge Q, uh, two, yeah, charge Q dipole moment M, constrained to move on the Z axis. Electrically, they repel, but magnetically, if both M's point in the Z direction, they attract. So we need to find the equilibrium separation distance. And B, what is the equilibrium separation for two electrons in this orientation? Does there exist then a stable bound state for the two electrons? Okay. So the forces on the upper charge, if we kind of constrained ourselves to what we did last question, we see that we have FQ and FM, okay, both being what they are respectively. And at equilibrium, they have to add up to zero because they're not moving, okay? So that's where we, that's where we find literally equilibrium. All right, so after all that, Let's go ahead and solve for this. Uh, since they add to zero, we have a negative sign, so push the FM over and uh, multiply by uh, Z to the fourth and then divide by Q squared over four pi epsilon naught. We see we get a nice set of cancellating factors. Um, and we end up with this coefficient of six mean naught epsilon naught M squared over Q squared. And then when you take the square root for um, Z to isolate Z, you see you have six or root six and then divide or times root mu naught uh, epsilon naught times the ratio of m to q. But if you recall, we know that the square root of mu naught epsilon naught or one over mu naught epsilon naught is equal to c. So we just put a c in the denominator there. And then this multiplies through to z equals the square root of six m over c q. That is fascinating little result. Um, so then if we plug in these constants, we can find what the equilibrium separation is, uh, go ahead and do that. And we see that we have 4.2 times 10 to the negative 13 meters. And for comparison's sake, the Bohr radius is 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So the equilibrium separation is about 1% of the size of a hydrogen atom. That is nuts. Um, and then for part C, well, good question, but certainly the answer is no. Presumably, this is an unstable equilibrium, so unless you could find a way to maintain the orientation of the dipoles and keep them on the axis or the z-axis, the structure will fall apart. But nice little thought experiment.